name is Kevin Tates, and you're watching Kevin's Corner. And this is Project Jaded. Jaded is a 1966 Mustang Coupe rescued from the junkyard. It's got late model fuel injected supercharged drivetrain, world class suspension, giant brakes on all four corners, and custom body mods everywhere you look. The only panels that are original are the door skins and the roof. And as cool as it looks, it's just as fast. Now, we hatched the plan a while ago to do all Eastwood products from the bare steel right on up to the clear coat on this car. And I think it's a home run. And everything that I'm going to show you on this car, you can get from the Eastwood catalog. So let's start talking about color. This is jaded green base coat. I was very lucky and very fortunate to be able to work with the Eastwood engineers. And we came up with a color that everybody just dies over. It's really deep. It's got a dark side tone, lots of metallic, and it really pops in the sun. And uh, right beside, we've got a couple of other colors. Separating the two-tone is Boulevard Black, another base coat, clear coat, and we've got Tunnel Ram Gray on the insert, as well as under the hood, which you'll see in a little bit. But the cool thing is that this is the, uh, the Rat Rod Flat Clear. It's very consistent, very easy to use, and it lays out dead flat, gives a really nice accent. Now this is the focal point of the whole front of the car. The 2009 headlight grafted seamlessly into the 1966 fender, which was done with basic sheet metal skills and stuff that you can get, like I said, from the Eastwood catalog. Bonding adhesives, MIG welders, fillers, fiberglass repair materials that make this very doable. All you gotta do is put the time and energy into it and have a plan. For the interior, it's got the 2004 Cobra dash, center console, and seats that have all been recovered in custom upholstery. So it brings you back into the 04 Cobra that it came from, but it still doesn't look out of place in the old car. Now, the other thing that's functional as well as beautiful is the stainless steel Tiger cage, which looks great, it makes it safer, and it ties in the rigidity of the unibody into the full frame chassis. Function. Now the whole back end of the car is a blackout kit, Shelby tail lights, and a bunch of fiberglass work, which disappears until you hit the brakes, and then it comes alive. Now in the trunk is kind of like a typical old Mustang until you look a little closer. The supercharger coolant tank is on the left. The fuel tank is now a fuel cell, which is baffled and housed with a modern fuel delivery system, and the battery is on the right. And everything's there for function. It's not real pretty, but it's all there. Speaking of custom stuff, take a little closer look to the two-tone lines in the paint. If you look closely, it looks like two different green colors, but it's exactly the same base color sprayed at exactly the same time. I just used the Eastwood flat clear on the trunk jam, and the taillight housing has the gloss clear on it, the Euro clear, and it gives a really cool custom effect. It changes the color, but it doesn't. It changes the refraction, and it changes the depth of the color that you can see. And that back masked off with the Boulevard black on the taillight panel, well, it gives a really cool custom effect. It gives a very classy look with very little effort involved. A lot of time was spent on body prep. Multiple blockings using the Eastwood Contour Polyester Body Filter to get these panels laser straight. The panel gaps, well, they're perfect. We spent a lot of time on them, getting them right, getting them even, getting them symmetrical. And along with all the custom cues, there's some things that we left the same. For instance, I left the drip rails on there. I wanted that look. I like the look of a 60s car. Drip rails were part of the design at that time, as well as door handles. Now, granted, these are Ring Brothers custom door handles, but I wanted that tactile sensation of grabbing something to open the door instead of a key fob. The custom stuff is cool for me, for Jaded. We wanted handles. One of the things we changed was the bright trim around the door frames. Of course, we took it off of the drip rail, it's painted body color, but we took the door frames and the window frames and painted them with POR15 paint. We know it's gonna stick and it gives us a cool custom look. Now, as fun as it is to look at all the other custom body mods on this vehicle, the thing that really stands out in this car is under the hood. Let's take a look. Under the hood is a 32-valve, 4.6-liter engine from the 04 Cobra that donated it. It's got a factory Eaton supercharger that's been aggressively ported and has a 2.76 upper pulley to make a little extra boost. Now, it's got an aftermarket throttle body and inlet tube. It features the HydroBoost brake system from the Cobra and is cooled by a Griffin radiator. Holding the hood up are the custom Ring Brothers hood hinges and everything under the hood, the firewall, the aprons, the radiator support, the cam covers, the blower, you name it, has been bathed in Eastwood polyester primer, blocked, and then painted with Tunnel Ram Gray base coat, followed by the flat clear for a really cool custom look. 
Now for some of the accents on the engine block and the accessory drive, I used Aluma Blast spray paint. It gives a nice accent, it's low gloss, and it fits right in with the detail under the hood. The master cylinder is spray painted with Eastwood's Brake Gray spray paint, which is resistant to brake fluid and holds up very well. Even though it's only 281 cubic inches, it kicks out about 640 horse at the crank, which puts down nearly 500 horsepower and 500 foot-pounds at the wheels. I'm not kidding. So the goal with Jaded was to show you that you really can get show car results at DIY prices. Thanks to the Eastwood Company. See you next time.